So let us talk about the inclination of a line. So we have this line over here, which says AB. And we want to figure out what the angle of inclination is or what the inclination of this line is. Now, the inclination of the line means you draw an angle from the x-axis. The angle you draw must always be anti-clockwise towards the line. So it must start from here and it must end on the line over there. So let's call this theta. Now, one thing you need to understand is that to answer what the inclination of AB is or what the angle theta is, from trig ratios, if I call the C, I understand that tan theta is equal to BC over AC, right? Due to opposite over adjacent. And from analytical, we understand that gradient is also BC over AC. And what this means is that this is the change in Y over the change in X. Okay? So now, since we can see that tan theta is equal to BC over AC and M is also equal to BC over AC, we can definitely say to get our inclination of a line or the angle of inclination, wherever you want to call it, we normally say that it is M is equals to tan theta. Your gradient is equals to tan theta. And one very important thing you also need to remember is that theta is in between 0 and 180. Now, there are two types of questions you will get with inclination of the line. Your line could either be positive, like in this case, because as we can see, the gradient of this is positive, or your line could look like this, which is a negative graph, because your gradient is negative. Now, whenever your gradient is positive, the angle that it forms is always an acute angle, meaning that it is less than 90 degrees. Whenever your, your gradient is negative, you expect your angle to be an obtuse angle, right? Meaning that your angle is in between 90 and 180. When the gradient is positive, to calculate your angle, you have m is equals to tan theta. All you just have to do is get the second function of your gradient and the answer you would definitely get would be between 0 and 90. When the gradient is negative and you want to calculate your angle, you would first of all get the reference angle. So what I would do is, now this gives you a reference angle, then to get the actual angle that you use, it would be, and your answer for your theta would be between 90 and 180 like we talked about. We have this question over here. We, we see we have A, B, and D, E creating a triangle. Now we are asked to find our alpha, our beta, and our theta. Okay? So let us start with the alpha. Now, alpha over here is the angle created from line DE. So we need to get the gradient of line DE. Looking at this over here, we notice we have x-intercepts and a y-intercept at D. Now, the coordinate of this x-intercept is negative 3 and 0. And the coordinate of this intercept here would be 0 and 3. Now, we'll get the gradient of this line using those two points. So, as you can see, the gradient of DE is 1. So, for us to get alpha, we will use our angle of inclination formula, which is... So our first answer, alpha, is equals to 45 degrees. The next question tells us to get beta. 
as you can see here beta is an obtuse angle right but now beta forms an obtuse angle from line a b so that is your line of inclination so all we just need to do for this is to get the gradient of line a b now we also see that b has a coordinate of 4 and 0 and at a that's a coordinate of 0 and 6 so all i do is substitute that into the gradient formula So then I use the angle of inclination formula to get the angle of beta. So the angle beta would be 1, 2, 3, 69 degrees. So the last question asks you to find the value for theta. Now we understand that this is our theta over here and this angle here would also be theta. The reason for that is because of vertically opposite angles. Now as you can see DEB forms a triangle. We also know that alpha plus theta is equals to beta and the reason for that is exterior angles of a triangle with that we can help it helps us to get our value for theta so if that's the case theta which we're trying to get is equals to beta minus alpha so therefore theta is and that's it so that will be your answer for theta so this is exactly how you can use angle of inclination to find different angles in analytical geometry.